152 billion pounds of 400 million year old dolomite limestone has been removed to create this reservoir. It's going to hold 7.9 billion gallons of water, benefit 14 communities, and mitigate $40 million in flooding damage. Part of the district's mission is to protect Lake Michigan from pollution and protect businesses and homes from flood damage, and this project is going to do that. The Thornton Composite Reservoir is the second of three major storage facilities being constructed by the district as part of their tunnel and reservoir plan. The challenges that we had with this project were uh, coming up with massive gates to control the flow in and out of the tunnel into the quarry, uh, grouting of the rim, constructing a gap dam to close out the reservoir to make a complete storage facility uh, so that it could be used in the overall TARP program. Thornton Reservoir Project, also called the Tunnels and Gates Project, includes two sets of gates. The purpose of the gates mainly is uh, to, when the storm comes, to pass the flow from the tunnels to fill the reservoir and collect the water there. And vice versa, after the storm has passed, close the gates and then pass the water collected in the reservoir to the tunnels and to the treatment plant. Now to facilitate that passage, because the gates are closed, we have a set of jet flow gates in the main gates to facilitate that slowly, uh, these are small gates about 42 inch in size to slowly pass the flow from the reservoir to Now the two sets of gates are provided simply as duplicates to make sure that if one side fails, then the other side can pass the flow. The really unique aspect of this uh, project is that the mine was never envisioned to be a reservoir when it was started. It's just been built and excavated over time and actually ended up being bisected by uh, the Tri-State Tollways, uh, which is a major thoroughfare there. Uh, the Gap Dam was needed to allow the reservoir to be filled completely up with the combined sewer outflows and to allow mining to continue in the other lobe of the quarry. Uh, what was really unique and cool about this project is we were able to use aggregate from the, the mine that's still active there to build the roller compacted concrete dam, which is a type of structure that forms the, that fills in the gap. It's a 100 foot, 112 foot high uh, dam to fill this gap. It's only 240 foot long at the crest, so it's a very, very efficient uh, little structure in there to fill in that little uh, portion of the reservoir. Being involved in this project and what really I enjoyed about this project is we had, um, this is a kind of large project for us, and it took almost nine years design and construction, close to even 10 years, but it's uh, all working. Of course, I, I work as a project manager. We had a great team working with me and great subcontractor, which resulted in, I believe, a good design and our sustained approach to the owner as well as the contractor during construction resulted really no change order related to the design. This was a really awesome project to work on. We were able to use our engineering knowledge and expertise in the design of gates and, and a dam uh, to close off the storage in the, in the uh, mine, uh, to, to be able to grout the rim and, and create this reservoir that allows the storage of combined sewer outfalls uh, to protect the communities in the area and Lake Michigan and the Calumet River system. Thank you.